What's up guys, it's your boy Zax here and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 12 of my Martin Odegaard play career mode on FIFA 15. So in today's episode we're going to have the chance deadline day, um, which I wasn't involved with um, as I'm on loan at Middlesbrough, so that's nothing special for me. Um, I'm come, I'm, <clears throat> I came back from holiday yesterday, so I'm going to be trying to make you guys some episodes of this um and yeah i hope you will enjoy it i'll try and make a few but it will be mainly call of duty these coming weeks because of the black ops 3 beta um but today's first game um was actually against mk dons in the capital um one cup and i wasn't selected the manager decided to bench me um, to rest, no, not even to bench me, to rest me, so I didn't participate at all in the game. Um, so I simmed it so you can see. So I'm going to commentate it live for you guys. And I know the result, um, but I'm still going to commentate only when I see it as if I was with you. So we're on to the 15 minute, nothing happened yet. 21st minute, they get, no, we get a yellow card. Then in the 40th minute we get another yellow card some substitutions then they get a goal by a penalty in the 53rd and then we yo oh, we get one back in the 83rd also on a penalty so it goes to extra time still 1-1 one, one in the 110th minute um and penalties and we lost 5-4 so we're actually out of the cup so I'm kind of disappointed because I did kind of want to participate in it, but it also takes energy and form from you and it takes time to play those matches. So I'm not too sad that I missed it. So the first real game of the episodes is against Wolves in the league. We've got the sexy away kit. I really like that kit to be honest. If I was to buy a... Middlesbrough Odegaard kit for the series That would be it. I, I'd buy the away one because it looks way better than the home one But in the fifth minute Wolves are attacking they get the ball to Henry Completely takes the mickey out of my defender passes it to Sigurdarsson who smashes it home Scored wonderful goal. So we were already down 1-0 after five minutes into the match that was kind of depressing it was a good strike by Sigurdsson, and by thinking real life, um, Wolves are one of the better teams in the championship, and Sigurdsson is a really good player. Well, not really good, but he's good in championship caliber because I don't think he'd be good in the Premier League, but he's good in the championship. Um, then get a free kick in the 28th. Absolutely goes nowhere, but we get back, passes it to me. I thread that pass to Carayol who smashes it in. That was a great finish. And uh, I loved my pass. My pass was matter esque to be honest. Um I, I loved that pass. But Carayol's finish was absolutely world class. Just look at it. For uh, I I'm speechless. I'm speechless. It was absolutely beautiful. I, I really wasn't expecting that to be honest. Fuck. How many times do I say to be honest um, per episode of my Martin Odegaard play career mode series? It's unbelievable how many times I say that word. Well, but after that, there was no real chances in the game and we drawed 1 1. So the next match was against Preston. As you can see, my objectives, I completed the last ones, these are the new ones. So the second game was against Preston. I f don't know if Preston are really good because I haven't like looked at the standings before the games because we're at the beginning of the season, so I don't think they're really meaningful or at this point in time. But in future, I will, so I have an idea. But in the 90th minute, we're on the attack, and I get it nearly on the edge of the box, smash it, and that was nearly one of my classic long shots with Martin Odegaard. Um, it, I, it really just went over the bar. I, I thought it was in in um, at the first place. 
I nearly said to be honest. Um, so half time, nil nil, nothing exciting. In the 76th minute, we get a free kick on the edge of the box. He crosses it in, goes back to our midfielder who passes it to me. I try and pass it out to the wing, get back on the wing, try and run out of chop through the defender, cross it in, boom. Kaike with the header, 1-0. I got the assist on that. And um, compared to last year already, I'm already um, improving in creating chances not only for myself and assisting goals rather than always scoring them because um, the only objective that I did fail last year was, um, I think it was assists or chances created. I don't remember which one it was, but already this year I'm getting really better at that, so I'm happy about that. And that was a 1-0 win for us versus Preston, so I'll see you right now for the third match. So... Third match of the episode was against Millwall. I do not think Millwall were very are very high in the championship in real life because um, as soon as I got into the match, the manager actually went attacking and either ultra attacking and when at one point it even went ultra all out of attack. Um, but there we in the 17th minute. Pass it to Whitehead, passes it to Ensui, gets a cross in, Whitehead smashes it into the top corner, but as you can see it was actually disallowed. Um, he was indeed offside out as we'll see in a few seconds, just right now, clearly offside, that was an easy decision for the linesman. Um, but yeah, we were creating chances and in the 44th minute, Passes it. I pass it to Cario. He gets it back to me. Magnificent turn um, to get rid of the defender and I smash it in the goal. Um, I think that's my fourth goal of the championship this season. Um, that was quite nice with Cario. I think he's gonna become my favourite teammate at this point. I assist him. He assists me. It's all good in the hood. Um, but that was in the 45th minute, it was really good just before half time to get the hopes up and feel dominating at half time and not being drawing against a weaker side I believe. But in the 52nd minute I get 30 yards out, pass it to midfielder, passes it to Whitehead, I get it back on the edge, try and smash it, Kite gets it, magnificent pass from Whitehead and he smashes it into the bottom right corner of the net and that was 2-0 against Millwall um, at this point we were really dominating it's just rather us bury the chances um, but what I've realized with this Middlesbrough team is our shots and shots on target are always really similar and that's really good because um, one of the most frustrating things when you're in these lower league teams is that your your teammates are generally shit so they can miss some really easy chances for like an 80 rated player because they're like 70 rated so that's it but that was it for that match we won 2-0 and that's basically it for the episode as you can see 4 shots, 4 on targets, 2 goals for us so that was pretty good attacking wise but that was the end of the episode I really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like um, subscribe, um, comment with feedback so you can help me make these videos better for you guys. Um, com um, subscribe for more career mode videos. This was your boy Zach, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.